So welcome back. I decided that when I was thinking about what I wanted to get done today, I decided I needed to get some quick wins under my belt. So you may hear some noise in the background. I've got the canner running, the chicken broth is in the canner. Um, I've got the washer and dryer going, and I wanna go ahead and knock out a few things that will get me some quick wins. And one of them is my hydroponic um, system. I wanna replace the grow pods in them, and I wanna plant some seeds this morning. I'm still sipping on my coffee. I've already had to heat it up because it's gotten cold doing other things this morning. All right, let's get started. First thing I wanna do, um, and I'll try to link this below if I can find it. If not, I'll try to find one that's very similar to it. I ordered this from Amazon. Uh, I've always been very interested in hydroponic gardening. I don't know enough about it to do very much of it, but it's always intrigued me. And I bought this system, actually got it with some fetch points. Uh, I used fetch and I had saved up all my points and I bought this with my fetch points and I used it and I absolutely loved it. We've grown lettuces in it, spinach in it, there's different things for fresh salads. And so I ran out of grow pods and so I tried, I've you know, seen all these things about how people grow hydroponically and they're using pieces of pool noodles. So I thought, well, I'll give that a try. Well, that was an epic fail in this system. So I'm gonna clean all that out today and get all, this, all of that out and redo everything. I've already got water in it and I did, order some replacement grow sponges. Um, I'll try to link this below as well. I ordered this package of 80 from Amazon, so I wanna get all of this taken care of, reset, and get some things planted in it this morning. So let's get started. All right, the first thing I wanna do is take all of these down. Now, I cut these pool noodles into little V's, and they ended up they kept bobbing up like little bobbers because they are so lightweight. So I got the bright idea of taping them down, which did not work, so I'm just gonna take all that out. Now that that is all in the little garbage bag that I've got here, I'm gonna take out the new grow pods and it says that you can, oh, my canner's beeping, telling me that it is canning. So it tells me that you can soak these in water or you can use them dry. And you saw I took out the four on this end. Um, those four pods originally did not do very well. They didn't tend to grow anything. So I just wanted to replace all 12 of them. And so I just decided to do that. So I'm gonna put, 12 in here. These will soak up the water as they sit in the hole for a few minutes and they'll expand to fill the hole. So that's the first step I want to do. And while I let those just kind of soak up the water for a few minutes, then I'll get my seed packs ready and we'll get ready to get going. Each of these little um, grow pots has a hole in the center and that way you can show you has a little hole in the center, and that's where your seed goes. You just drop your seed in the little hole, and then the roots, it's porous, the growth pot is porous, so the roots can just grow down into it and through it, and then it picks up its nutrients and things like that from the water. All right, we'll give that just a few minutes and we'll come back and we will get some seeds planted. All right, so we're ready to plant some seeds, and I wanted to show you, it's been about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so and it went, our grow pod went from this to this. So you can see it's just pretty much doubled in size. I'm gonna put that back in there. And I pulled out four different things that I wanna plant. Um, I pulled out the oldest seed that I've got because I wanna try to get this out of my, out of rotation. Um, these are all seed from 2020. Yes, they're older. Um, and I know that the longer that I keep them, and I've, I've been using these seeds, they've all been viable. Um, I've put them, been putting them out in my garden and they've worked, but this is, I wanna try to finish these up because I keep buying new seed, more fresh seed, um, but I do wanna finish these up this year. So these four pods right here did not seem to do well in the last round of growing that I did. So I wanna do an experiment. I wanna use one of each. I've got four different kinds of seeds and I wanna put 
one of each kind in each of these four pods to see if it's the pods. Maybe it was the seed because the last time I did the same seed in all four pods. I don't know if it was the seed had gone bad or if it was just that area didn't get enough water or what was going on with it. Maybe the pods weren't really good or, or I don't know. It could have, been, could have been a number of things. But what I've got is I've got some spinach. I've got some royal red lettuce. I've got some gourmet blend lettuce. And I've got some burpee bib lettuce. Now these are all seed that I've bought um, either at Walmart or Rural King. I've got seed from all different kinds of places. I've ordered seed from all the different seed companies online, uh, MI Gardener, um, Seeds for Generations. I've ordered from all those places and they have great seed. But I've also just bought from Walmart. I've even bought from Dollar Tree. Don't, don't skip on those because they're, they're good seed. Um, and so I just use whatever I can get. If I'm at Walmart and I see the seeds, I grab a pack or two. If I'm at Rural King, I see the seeds, I grab a pack or two. But I try to grab wherever I can when I can, when I do see seeds. Those are all seeds I've either saved myself, which I want to do more of that, or that I have um, bought. And I've used all my 2019 seeds. Now I'm into my 2020 seeds. And so I'm trying to work my way through and I'm on one, I want a constant rotation of seeds just for my family's protection. For me, that's food security because I can grow seeds. I can grow plants, I can grow food. And if I have a constant rotation of seeds, I always have something I can put in the ground to provide for my family. So, I'm on the speech there. Let's get started. All right, so I wanna start with the spinach. I'm gonna do, there's 12 pods, so I'm gonna do four of each. So since these are older seeds, I am gonna put two in each pot. So I'm gonna put this back one here. It's gonna be my test one for spinach over there. And then I'm gonna do here. That will be two, three, four. Now I did two seeds because they are older. At least, hopefully one of them will at least germinate. So if I have two and one germinates, then I've got one Plant. If not, then I may have two. I can always pull one if I need to. All right, so this is the red, royal red lettuce, and these lettuce seeds are super tiny. Um, when I put these in the ground, I generally just kind of sprinkle them and scatter them. I think I'm going to this year, I've got some buckets outside that used to hold minerals and things for our cows. I'm gonna use, and I use those a lot of times for herbs. I think this year I'm gonna be doing them lettuces. All right, so I did that one. It's my test one, I think. So then I'm gonna do a few in here. I just sprinkle two or three in. One, two, three, four. Okay, put these back in. And then the next one I have is gonna be the burpee bib. You know what, I'm not, I did four instead of three. I know y'all are thinking you did too many. Well, you're right. Okay, so I'll just do one of those. So I did those two. I'll do this one and this one. I should have done three instead of four. My math's not good this morning. I'm still drinking on this cup of coffee. I'm still working on it. And then I'll do these last two in this um, gourmet blend lettuce, and I'll just sprinkle a few seeds in there. And with the lettuce seeds, they're so tiny, so I just sprinkle a few in, and, and if it come, they all come up, then I'll just thin them out until I have one good viable plant in there. Okay, so now I uh, have all that done. Um, this grow system comes with fertilizer. There is a part A fertilizer and a part B fertilizer. And then I love that it has these little grow caps. They're just little plastic caps. And i to get that one apart. They just set them on top of your little grow pods and it just creates that little humidity dome that you need for your seeds to sprout. 
And then this has a plug that plugs up there on the other counter. I'll move this over there shortly. But then you put this and you plug it up and you program it. Of course, to begin with, I'll program it for 12 hours. It's 12 hours on, 12 hours off for the light. And yeah, I thought that was too. And then it will cycle on and off on its own and I won't have to do anything. And in a few days, we'll start seeing some growth, hopefully. And that's it.